when you, you heard uh, this head of nurse of the CIUS de l'Ouest de Montréal, her testimony to police, mm -hmm. for you, uh, to my knowledge, it's the first time that we hear that type of emotion of a person that was there from the CIUS de l'Ouest de Montréal. For you, it, it reached this morning the symbol of a national disgrace. Iran was already the symbol of a national disgrace and the symbol of bad uh, policies that basically uh, uh, basically just transferred our uh, social responsibilities among elders to private sector. That was already a disgrace. Now to hear people from the inside coming forward with testimonies like this, I mean, it's not only heartbreaking, it's sad, and frankly, I feel, I feel ashamed this morning. Uh, Aaron makes me feel ashamed since the beginning of the story, and every day it seems worse and worse. It's getting from bad to worst. And to see the government trying to find all kind of scapegoats makes me feel bad and ashamed as well. What's next? Now that it, this is the third day in a row this week that we have testimony after testimony, yeah. evidence after evidence, the Sioux de l'Ouest de Montréal is saying that they were there to support the CHSL de Heron. The CHSL de Heron was not there to uh, opening the doors. Um, and then you have the government saying, well, Sioux de l'Ouest de Montréal was taking care of it. So it's a vicious circle. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very easy for the government to just try to hide uh, and find scapegoats and saying that basically it's somebody else's fault. How convenient. But the fact of the matter is that there's, there's a principle in, in our parliamentary system that, that goes in French as responsabilité ministérielle. I would let you uh, translate this. And basically, uh, where the buck stops. And the government is saying basically, no, no, it's not me, it's not me. Um, the minister responsible for elders is saying it's not me. I did all I could. I was working day and night. If she was working day and night, basically she was doing the wrong thing because she was not efficient enough to make sure that everybody was in place to assure the security of these people. So now, where, where do we go next? Public inquiry, public independent inquiry. In my heart, I'm sure that we will get there eventually. And all we, all we see here is the government making us losing our time and trying to escape its responsibilities.